Okay, so being an entertainer comes with a lot of like success and praise and gifts and perks, but being an entertainer also comes with a lot of backlash, and you got to be careful about the things you say, how you treat people, and the things you do. Everybody know I love me a big voluptuous woman like Lizzo. I think women are magic. I think women are beautiful. I even made a video praising Lizzo and her beauty. And then some allegations came out over the last couple of days, and I am not the person to be judge, jury, and executioner, and I don't believe everything I read, but some of this stuff is quite concerning. For the people that don't want to read all this stuff because I'm one of those people, basically Lizzo's ex-workers and ex-dancers are accusing her of providing a very perversive, persuasive, intimidating working environment stemming around sex and sexually explicit things, even going as far as saying Lizzo complained about some of her backup dancers' weight. Um, if I'm a basketball and I run into a, a volleyball, how can y'all get where I'm going? Some other allegations said that Lizzo said that her workers or their management team told the workers and performers that y'all are not too loud to perform if y'all ain't performing with Lizzo. So in between tours and stuff, y'all better sit y'all ass down and do nothing. And then they got to the point where they actually gave them 50% of the performing rate, which is like a retainer for the dancers. But why? Why did that? Why? One of the suits claimed that they was over there on a tour and Lizzo made one of the dancers touch another woman's breast and she made her security drop his pants on stage. If Lizzo's a freak, I can get that. But if, if you are making people around you do freaky stuff just to appease your freakiness, that ain't right. I ain't saying Lizzo did it. I don't know what's going on because me personally, like, I'm a freak. But if somebody don't come out like... Y'all have no idea what I can do with 200 buns, a clothes hanger, some mayonnaise, and a bottle of water. Y'all have no idea how sweet I can make this thing. But, I, this is deep. The only thing I'm going to say is, I watched Lizzo on live eat Oreos with mustard. That was strange to me, still strange to me, and I hope this case handles and settles itself before it gets super messy, and I hope... The feeling good as hell woman ain't do the stuff these people talking about. Because if she did, Lizzo, I, Lizzo, you a big girl, Lizzo. And we love you, Lizzo. But I hope you weren't weight shaming, Lizzo, because kettle, pot, you get what I'm saying.